Hey guys, welcome to the Tips and Tricks with Edso and Deanna. And today we're going to show you everything that you need to know about pre-treating. Alright you guys, so we'll start off with the tools and supplies. First we'll need a Wagner spray gun. Next we'll need our pre-treatment. If you're using Empower, you want to use Power Bright pre-treatment. If you're using a Sprint or an FP125, you want to use Anna Bright pre-treatment. We'll also need a bottle of distilled water and a squeegee. Optional supplies, you'll need gloves, goggles for protection, and a bottle of vinegar. Okay guys, so next we're going to talk about your pre-treatment area. You want to pre-treat somewhere that is well ventilated, or you can just pre-treat outdoors. You want to lay cardboard down top of the tables to make it easier to clean later. We prefer to spray the shirts downward onto the table rather than facing right in front of you. And we like to use rubber mats on the ground so that it prevents any of us from slipping or falling. Also, one very important thing is that you should never ever pre-treat in the same room as your printer. Alright, so mixing your pre-treatment is pretty easy. You'll just want to mix 50% distilled water and 50% uh, pre-treatment. This is the same ratio for both Sprint and Empower pre-treatment. Okay, here's a tip for all you Empower owners. If the whites are not looking as opaque as you'd like, you could always add more pre-treat to your ratio. Instead of doing 50-50, you can always make it 60-65% to pre-treat, 40-35% to distilled water, and add two or three small capfuls of vinegar into your Wagner sprayer. If there is pre-treatment still in your bottle, we suggest shaking it right before using it again. Okay, so when you apply the pre-treatment, you want to be 6 to 9 inches away from the shirt. That should cover about half the shirt. Most important part is making sure you have nice even passes. A good tip is to count 3 seconds while you move your gun across the shirt and a quick second pass over it. Then move your gun downwards to spray across the second half of the shirt. Overlap the lines a little to make sure you don't miss any spots and they repeat the same direction as earlier. Some shirts pre-treat different, some shirts will require more pre-treatment than others. If you're just starting off, we recommend to apply a bit more pre-treatment to ensure you have a good pre-treated area. Squeegee in one direction and with firm pressure. After each shirt, you can fold the shirt wet side in and drape it over a chair. You can then stack your other treated shirts on top. This is about drying your pre-treated shirts. If you do fold your shirts after you pre-treat it, make sure you don't let it dry like that overnight. You're going to have a better result if you leave it outdoors either on a cooling line and let it dry out in the sun. If you're unable to do that, a tunnel dryer works great as well. The tunnel dryer has to have forced air with a long tunnel. Or if you have to do it indoors, you can actually just pre-treat the night before, put it on top of some clothing racks, let it dry overnight, and you'll be good to go the next morning. Pre-treated shirts can be stored for at least one year as long as it's in a dry environment. Once dried, you will have a rough, starchy feel to the shirt. We hope you found this video helpful. For more tips and tricks, follow the Anajet YouTube channel. If you have any further questions, please email us at video at anajet.com.